some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Columbus, Ohio, with the frauditor known as Cult News. And he is to here to do an audit of City Hall. But the thing is, he they won't let him in because he won't uh, present his government-issued ID card. Oh, poor little guy. Why, they're violating your Fourth Amendment rights, aren't they? Well, not really, considering that, well, it's not your identification card to begin with. It's a government-issued identification card. But whatever. I mean, go ahead and follow your frivolous lawsuits and or whatever. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this idiot make a damn fool of himself. What are you doing? Do what now? Please don't video or record or take photos of anything high. Like we have a camera. Sorry. We ask everybody from the public to come see the now I understand this is not his first time in here and he's been kicked off before for violating the rules of the building, but uh, I guess he's a slow learner so he figured he'd try it again. So let's carry on. I asked him not to take pictures of the cameras. Because other people can see where they are and we just don't want everybody knowing for the safety of everybody in the building. Where are they? Interesting request. I will keep that in mind. It's, it's, it's unconstitutional to enforce it, but I appreciate the request. Kind of a silly request at that, I'll be honest with you. After you. What do we do? I think we are following her. I don't know, putting stuff in the metal detector, I'm assuming. We're going to run this stuff through here? What do we... What are we sitting on through here? Everything? In a previous video, he walked into an employee-only area at the local probation office and claimed it was his absolute right to do so. And, well, the uh, officers were able to get him out of the uh, employee area, but he refused to go any further and acted like he was being violated the whole bloody time. I mean, this is the kind of guy we're dealing with. So let's go ahead and see what kind of surprises we got coming from him this time. Though I'm not really all that surprised by the arrogance and stupidity of these frauditors anymore. Are you ready? I'm sorry? I need what now? Bless your heart. That's, that's, uh, you don't have my driver's license on me, sir. I wasn't even provided. That, that's that's a violation of the Fourth Amendment, sir. You can't ask for an ID. That's that's it's a violation of my rights, sir. No driver's license. There's no rule that says you have to have a driver's license to walk in the city hall. There's a law that says you have to have a driver's license. All right, a rule of the building doesn't override the Constitution, though. The Fourth Amendment says you can't require me to show ID to walk into a into a building, a city building. Uh, dude, you are quite incorrect about that uh the fourth amendment says nothing about that it just protects you from unreasonable searches and seizures in other words they can't just go into your house without probable cause or anything like that and in fact those driver's licenses that they're asking for are essentially government property anyway and pretty much states that you have the authority to drive on the public roadways and it can be taken away should you abuse the privilege or anything like that 
So your argument here is incredibly stupid to begin with. So try again, dude. If I don't have a driver's license, all right, so, so yeah, yeah, well, I'm well aware you've got a sign there, but the Constitution trumps that sign. So you're telling me we can't come past this point if we don't have a driver's license, is that right? That's right. No driver's license or ID, all right. Uh, I, it's it's unlikely it's it's unlikely I'm going to forfeit my Fourth Amendment rights then either though. So looks like we're at an impasse. All right, we'll just go ahead and stand here then and videotape everybody that comes in for the next couple hours. There you go. Well, Tina, I appreciate it. I'm going to pass a message on to the county, uh, the city attorney's office, and tell them that a lawsuit will be pending for violating my constitutional rights. That'd be terrific. Oh, so you're throwing around the word lawsuit. That's become so passe these days with you frauditors. You just show, do you just uh, throw that word around that could actually mean something. But when it comes right down to it, you're not going to be able to do it anyway because lawsuits cost a great deal of money. And that's something you probably don't have. Yeah. Hey, yeah, definitely get my things back there. We're not going until so give me a And I just need to get the name of the person that's refusing us interest for not uh, showing our, our driver's license. What was your name, ma'am? You don't have to give me a name. So, but you're the one that's, so you're not gonna identify yourself? Wow. So you're the one that says we can't come in the city hall without, without forfeiting our identi identification. Oh boy, oh boy. This woman's job here is pretty much to ask for IDs, and you're pretty much insinuating that you're she's going to be part of a lawsuit and that you're going to probably try to get her fired for doing her job. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, get a life. But, but you're not willing to stand behind that. You stand, are, are you employed by the city? So you're a public servant. You don't want to identify yourself? Correct. Strange. Know. Interesting. Just right. like you, I have rights. You do, but you're a public servant. So it seems like you should identify yourself, especially when you're the one telling people they can't come in because they're not showing I you didn't ID. I not say you couldn't come in. I said so, you needed to have a photo ID, I, and that's what everybody has to Now, besides the sign up here, where where is that rule exactly? Yeah, where exactly? Where exactly is that rule? Where where's the rule? The the law that overrides the Constitution that says that I have to forfeit my identification. Listen, you lead paint drinking soft tart, and yeah, I'm gonna call you a soft tart from this point on because you're just hanging on to this ID thing like it's the your life depended on it. Your life, they're not going to take it away from you. They just want to take a look, quick look at it. And you're not forfeiting it. You're just handing it to them for just a quick moment. Do, do you get that, dumbass? Or should I speak a whole lot slower? Or should you just get a whole lot smarter? You realize your policies don't override the Constitution, right? The Constitution doesn't give you a right to come into this building. Oh, but it does. It's a public building. My tax dollars pay for this building. I have every right to come into this building. No, you do not, sir. Same as the government building. Can't walls into the White House. Can't walls into the courtroom. No, you, but you know what's beautiful? The White House is a little bit different, but you no, can. No, it's not. It's government building. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, no. Tax dollars built that. You, you, so you can. You have to go to your congressman to get a tour of the White House. All right, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You guys, yeah, that's you guys go ahead and violate rights, and I'll just go ahead and stand here and, and document this for, for uh, court. That is a good idea. Just stand right there and use that camera of yours to document everybody doing their jobs and use it in your frivolous lawsuit and see how fast you get thrown out of court. Have fun with that. All right. Want to order some lunch? So, Tina, I guess our tour is done here. Um, if you want to let the city attorney's office know that... Uh, that they refused to let us in because we didn't show our driver's licenses. That'd be terrific. You already know our names, we told you, but yeah, no, go ahead. But there's violating our rights.
Yeah, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna forfeit our Fourth Amendment rights to walk in the city hall. You know, I'm beginning to think that you actually don't have an ID to begin with, that you are actually a sovereign citizen. Well, it makes sense considering there's a lot of frauditors out there who double as sovereign citizens. A prime example is broken system, broken trust. I mean, one of the worst ones out there, but still a prime example. We shouldn't have to forfeit our, our Fourth Amendment rights to enter City Hall. It's a Fourth Amendment. Unlawful searches and seizures, showing our driver's license to enter a building is a seizure of our identification. It's unconstitutional, and there will be a lawsuit against the City of Columbus for trying to violate our constitutional rights. I would definitely recommend you pass that on to the City Attorney's Office. Mr. Klein will be hearing from us. Hey, dumbass, it's not a seizure. A seizure means they take it from you and they don't give it back. I mean, can, can you actually think these things through, look up definitions and everything like that? I mean, and stop acting like a complete dumbass? Uh, I guess that's just too much to ask on your part, though, because he just continues to bellyache and everything like that and still doesn't get what he wants, which is entry into the city hall. Oh, poor little guy. You did see other people who were gaining access into city hall and they all got their driver's licenses back. So, dude, you still have no leg to stand on. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.